What's going on again guys, it's your boy Christian Ingram back at you again with another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Lord Draken Evo 3 from the comics. But before we do guys, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified about all my videos. It really does help out the channel. I want to get to 2,500 and 3,000 subs here soon and once we do that we will be giving away a Power Rangers SPD Omega Ranger with the Omega Cycle and the Power Rangers Psycho Ranger Lightning Collection Team Pack. So, potentially, you could be winning something. But now, let's get into the video. <laughs> so, Lord Draken has been one of the best villains in the Power Rangers universe in the past, what, five, ten years? Honestly, I, like the comics have been amazing and we finally got you know a figure of his evo 3 we did get two lord dragon figures before this one legacy version of lord dragon that was a pmc exclusive as well as a lightning collection version which was fine but now we have the evo 3 and his evo 3 is like his superman final form you know his frieza form his his perfect form and this was in the comics at the end of shattered grid and you know, it's just a really cool thing to see that we're getting it, so let's open it up. But we did it. All right, so we got the cape back on, you know, and he looks like a badass. Like, of course, Tommy looks like a badass. Ugh. And you got his. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the figure. Um, very reminiscent of. Oh, why is it like this? Why is... So this does not look centered at all. This looks too far over to the right. Now. I mean, to the, yeah, his right. And I don't know if it's exactly supposed to be like that. It might be, but. Who knows? Um, as far as standing up, a little hard for them to stand up because of the back weight. Uh, but it seems like the cape balances him. He's able to stand up like that. But as far as the figure itself, really reminiscent of the gold Zeo Ranger as far as the shield and the colors. But you got the red stripes on it, which makes him kind of look more like, like a DC villain. I don't know. He would be a legitimate villain in the world of Marvel or DC, it looks like. You got the dragon logo right here. You got his arm thingies right here and the gold paint on them. But they didn't spare no expense. This is a really good figure. Um, you got Tommy's face with the veins, which, you know, that's fine. Him with the white streaks in his hair. Uh, his morpher, I guess it is the one that I said is over to his side. His cape, which if you take it off, it is a pain to get back on. Then you have the helmet, which is... I'm not a big fan of the design of this helmet. Just because I think it looks weird, but overall not bad. I don't really want to mess with the cape too much, but you got a, a few lightning effects. And then Sub is in here somewhere with two extra hands. I'm trying to get Sub out. The only unfortunate part is, if you read the comics, you know Saba didn't come with a head. You know, that kind of sucked. That they, they, um, that this figure ended up coming with a head. Like, he cut Saba's head off in the comics, but Saba will fit right here. Maybe. Come on. Fit in there. There you go. As far as this figure, though, not stiff at all. All the joints are very good. Uh, feet stiff, but whatever. As far as his arms and everything, very good. Very good figure. Uh, but for the price point, it should be, I think it was like $50. So it better be a good figure, right? But yeah, overall, the cape. Super nice. It's not a cloth type cape, which I don't I don't see why they would do it. They they did some sort of cloth for Rita's dress, which makes sense, but um 
This this will be probably the same material they use for the Mystic Force Rangers when they come out with them for the Lightning Collection. You know, Solaris Knight has a cape. All the Mystic Force Rangers have a cape. Um, so it would make sense that they would do the same thing. I don't see them going to cloth capes for them. Lord Draken is looking really cool, though. So the facial features are great. Everything great. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of this Lord Draken figure? And don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified about all of my videos. Till we meet again, may the power protect you.